Hey everybody, how's it going? Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can very quickly and very easily add a mosaic to a person's face in Adobe Premiere Pro. So you'll get something that looks like this. So let's get started here. So if you've worked in television or the documentary genre for any extended length of time, you've probably encountered a situation where you needed to mosaic someone's face out, whether that was to hide their identity or you just didn't have a release form, whatever the case may be. This is kind of a common method when you are editing video. And Premiere Pro has tools today that allow you to quickly and easily do this to a person. So let me show you in a few steps how you can quickly mosaic out a face. So I have this clip here of this girl in Iceland and I didn't get a release form and a producer really wants to use this shot. He doesn't care if it's mosaic mosaiced out. So what we want to do is add a quick mosaic to this. This is nine seconds in length. Now the problem is she's walking towards us and we're going to need to do a little bit of tracking here. But again, the tools in Premiere today make this extremely easy. So let me show you. The first step you want to do is go over and grab the mosaic effect and drop that right on here. And now I'm gonna go over to the effect controls panel, make sure your clip is selected. Now the mosaic effect allows you to add horizontal and vertical blocks and you can change the number of blocks to your liking. And you can also, you have a little feature here to sharpen colors, but if you look up here, as with most effects in Premiere Pro today, you have these mask tools. Now, what I want to do here is I want to apply a circular or an ellipse mask to my face, and that will control our mosaic here. So now what I want to do here is select the ellipse mask. And now I can position this over my subject's face. Now what I'm going to be doing is tracking this. So I found that the easiest way to track this is to start from the end, or I'm going to start where my subject's face is largest or as close as possible to the camera. So I'm going to go to my final shot here, and I'm going to go back, grab my mask, and position it right over my subject's face. And I can grab the edges here and kind of position it here. And over here, this is our feathering tool. I'm not going to adjust this just yet. Okay, so we have our mask in place but now we need this to follow her face. So if you look over here under our mask path, we can animate this mask path with these tools here. Now we can animate these um, kind of through automatic, automatic playback or we can go frame by frame. Also, there's a tracking method settings here and let's open that up. And right now it's defaulted to position scale and rotation, which I wanna leave it there because it's gonna be scaling as our subject walks uh, toward the camera. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that. And now since I'm at the last frame of the clip, I'm gonna go backward. So now as I track the selected mask backward, watch what happens. As I said, this tool is very, very good and the mask tracking capabilities now are, are pretty, pretty precise. Okay, so for step one, we applied our mosaic effect to our clip. For step two, I put an ellipse mask on my subject's face and for step three, I tracked the mask and added all these keyframes to our mask path. So let's take a look at that track. Okay, and that's looking very good. It's covering her face and it scales up as she walks. So look at that, that's first try. And as I said, I usually prefer to go backwards or, or go to where the subject's face is the largest and then track back accordingly. Okay, now the, for the last step, all I want to do is kind of fine tune this mask. And the only thing I want to do is just kind of get rid of this edge here. This is all subjective. Now I can grab this here and this adjusts our feather. If you look over here, or I can manually type this in, 55. And also if we look over at the mask properties, all of these, you can add keyframes to any of this. So if you want to animate the mask feather as she walks, or if you want to have the mask grow or expand even further, you can animate that. If you really want to be a stickler, you can animate the number of blocks as she walks, because if you look right now, as she's further away, those blocks look a little bit different as compared to when she's right up close to the camera. We, we can also adjust the colors of the actual blocks. So as you can see, I add, added mosaic really quickly. That took less than five minutes. 
So it's really, really a fast process, and this is a really great tool inside Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high-quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects. Thank you.